Being an empath means you have the ability to sense and feel the energies and emotions of people around you. But if you're like most empaths, you feel your gift is more of a burden or a disadvantage. In this video, I'm going to give you tips to help you protect yourself energetically, discuss the positive aspects of being an empath, and people often overlook those positive aspects, and also explain the role of an empath in our world. Hello, I'm Wendy Rapp, spiritual life coach and intuitive reader. On this channel, I help you as a spiritually awakened person grow and evolve on your soul's journey. And if you're enjoying information like this, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Sunday. As an empath, you are constantly picking up and sensing, feeling the energies and the emotions of others around you, and you're also absorbing those energies that can be very heavy and very draining for you but you can learn to protect yourself the protection techniques that i am going to give you in this video i have mentioned in greater detail in other videos so i will link those videos at the end of this video the first thing you need to do especially first thing when you get up is surround yourself in the white light see it surrounding you like a shield head to toe cocooning you keeping you safe and then check in during the day and intensify that light as needed. The second thing you should do is ground yourself. Take walks, exercise. It's really important for empaths to connect with Mother Nature, Mother Gaia. It's very healing and curative for us, so it helps us to release all that negative pent-up energy. So exercise, dance, simply taking a walk in nature. Really important to do on a regular basis and be mindful of your thoughts. If you're dwelling on worries and negative thoughts, then change your thinking. Also, if you're hanging around people who are very negative or you're watching a lot of negative TV shows or movies, you really should try your best to avoid that sort of programming. And don't forget to sage your living space regularly because it does help to clear and negate the negativity that we all bring throughout our day home with us. So make sure you have a regular practice of clearing your living space. And don't forget to use crystals. Carry your protective crystals. Keep them around you at home. And it's really important you learn to rely on and call on your higher powers, whether it's Archangel Michael, your personal angels and guides. If you're ever feeling overwhelmed and you need help uh, releasing these energies and bringing positive um, energy in, they will help you to do that. Now, those are what I consider to be the basic protection practices that all spiritually awakened people should practice every day. But if you're an empath, you're going to have to take extra care to protect yourself. Because empaths are such giving and loving people and caring people, they often fall victims to people who are takers, the narcissists, the energy vampires. So it's very important that you learn to create healthy boundaries for yourself and say no. And because empaths are such loving, caring, giving people, they often attract in toxic relationships, toxic people, whether it's friends or lovers. And when they attract these people in, they will then often make excuses for the person. Oh, they had a rough childhood or something. What you need to understand is if you are in a toxic relationship, you are not going to be able to fix that person. I know you probably feel you can, if you just give it time, you're not going to be able to fix the person. It is not your responsibility to fix someone else. That person's problems are their responsibility and only they can make the decision to fix themselves. As an empath, it is not your role here to be everyone's savior. And I know this is really hard. It's a challenge for empaths to do this, but you need to take care of your own needs. You need to put your own needs first. That's not being selfish. Learning to say no to others, removing yourself from toxic relationships, giving yourself plenty of downtime and rest. It's not being selfish. 
it's taking care of yourself so that you can be there for others if they need you. But it's also going to lead you to be a more empowered empath when you learn to take care of your needs first. What are some of the positive aspects of being an empowered empath? Well, people are drawn to you. You're a person who has a very calming and healing effect on others. You can read people really well. You know when you've been lied to and you can see right through people. Trust those instincts. Animals are very drawn to you and you can intuit what they're feeling. Also, you can easily connect with spirit, with your angels, your guides, the elementals, and those who've passed on. The positive traits of being an empath come when we learn to be empowered. Being an empath is a gift. It is a blessing. It's a gift that was given you so that you could fulfill some role or life work here on this earth plane. But as with any psychic gift that we have, it takes time, it takes work, it takes dedication and intention to master that gift. The primary purpose of a empath in this world is to help give healing to others. And they usually do that by helping others to process their thoughts and their feelings. Uh, think of careers like counselors, coaches, teachers, mentors, therapists, uh, just to name a few. A th empath will usually go into a role where they can help people to course correct and act as a guide to that person to help them move through their life. I hope that information was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you have any questions on the material that I discussed here or any other questions that you'd like me to answer for you, leave it in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. You can connect with me on social media. The links are below in the description box. And as always, remember, you are a spark of the divine. Share your light with the world. Blessings.